Hey guys, it's Carmen with Happy Healthy and Pink, and I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, it's been a little bit of a while because we've been pretty busy here. Got um, hubs taking care of knee surgery, school ending, lots of stuff going on. So I um, haven't had a chance to go, but we had to go and get some stuff, which I'm going to show you some DIY ice packs in a little bit. We need some stuff for that. So um, we ended up picking up some other things too for a couple of other um, activities I had planned. It's the first day of summer, so I'm trying to think of things for the kids to do and um, things that we need for around the house. So um, we went to a new Dollar Tree today, one that I hadn't been to in a long time. It's a pretty large one and they have a really good book selection, so we found some neat books. So I'm going to show you those first. Oh, here's my daughter picked up some books for reading. So we have this one called Roomies. And it's I'm trying to find the price. <laughs> and I'll go really fast. I can't find the prices on these, but um, if you want to know, let me know. This is are the retail. Of course, they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So this is Roomies we found. I found this one called Never Too Late. had a lot of good paperbacks in and a lot of like um, self-help books today. Invisible. So this one was from Target. And then I found some health books to, oh, we have, well, before I go to health and beauty ones, um, we have a little guy here that loves Skylander, so found this book. And this is his favorite version of it, Swap Force. And that chapter book that I can read to them too. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I found, um, I'm really uh, into gut health and getting your gut healthy and um, trying to help your gut so it can help the rest of your body. And a lot of that um, is about sugar control and not putting so much sugar into your body. And so I found this one book called The Sugar Smart Express. I want to see what that's about by Ann Alexander and it's um, to stop cravings 21 day quick start plan to stop cravings lose weight and still enjoy the sweets you love so thought that would be interesting reading and see what that's about especially for a dollar and let's see we've got a lot of books today um, I'll read that one I also found this No More Excuses Diet book. And this was a retail of $26. This was how the, and this one was a retail of $26.99, so that's pretty good. And then I read, um, I told you I was studying about, or reading more about gut health. Jakey, it's too loud. The little guy's next to me watching his own videos, so. <laughs> Um, I um, read the book about the gut health diet from um, Dr. Stark Stork, and this was the that was the sequel to this one. It was so I figured for a dollar, I might as well pick this one up too and read it. This is a seventeen ninety nine value, so it's the doctor's diet, and it's about a holistic method of helping you lose weight, not just crash diet or anything but a change of lifestyle and that's what's important when you're trying to lose weight and I really do need to get back on that again. Let's see. Um, and I had some self-help books too. This Inner Will, Finding Personal Strength in Critical Times. I thought that might be an interesting read. And Gratitude and Trust, Six Affirmations That Will Change Your Life. So I thought I would check that one out for a dollar. Doesn't hurt. And then they had some neat InStyle magazine ones um, that I thought would be cool for my daughter and I. InStyle Ultimate Beauty Secrets. And this one is a $22.95 retail. And then InStyle The New Secrets of Style. So we got those books. So a lot of neat books today, at least at that one. My local Dollar Tree doesn't usually have that many neat ones. So, and then we also got, um, I know my littlest one will get bored right away, 
and he's sitting here right next to me. <laughs> but, um, oh, be careful. There he Hi. is. Hi. So I picked up stuff to make a, a break the boredom box kind of thing for him this this summer. And when I get put all together, I'll show you. But um, picked up some cute activity things for him to do. So when he tells me I'm bored, I can hand him an activity and we can work on it. So um, you'll see, but you can't use them right, use them right now. <laughs> hey, Mom, I was thinking we can make... Mm. Maybe that would be fun. That would be fun. He wants to make a box for it. That would be fun. So I found these. Um, some people have been hauling these. These wood shop activities. So this one's to make a race car. This one's to make a helicopter. I thought I got some other ones. Um, no, don't pull things up. That's, this is a, excuse me, a birdhouse. You can, can't play with these all right now. And and then another birdhouse. This is a different one. A bird feeder. That's a bird feeder. Sorry. And then we picked up some puzzles. There's some puzzles. So the thing is, we're gonna put all these in a box, and then we'll, when someone's getting a little bored, we can pick something out and do that activity. Here's another cute little puppy. Hey, that looks like Luke. That's who I Yeah, we're puppy sitting, and that puppy actually looks like the puppy that we're puppy sitting. And this one with buttons, I thought that was cool for a whole family puzzle. It's 4,000 oh. pieces. Oh, so you know, it's yep. America. And we thought it might be good to start the little guy on knowing the states. So this one was kind of cool, the States of America puzzle. Uh oh Okay, what else? Oh. And then, oh, and here's we've got some Sudokus that will go in that box. Word searches, and then in my previous hauls, you've seen that I have color books, so we'll do these color books and a crossword puzzle. And and then my daughter got one of those stitch books. They still had some, and it's the first time she'd seen them, so I got her one of those. And wait, that's another piece. And then they had these really cool. Sorry, I'm digging through the bags while I'm doing this, but um, I found the gem gemstone excavation blocks, so we got three of those. Oh, you got another pen? Mm-hmm. And then... Um, this one doesn't work. doesn't have batteries yet. We got... Not that these are going to go on... Well, let me show these later. <laughs> let me finish the activity box. Um, uh, nice, instead of a... Oh, it got bent a little. Oh no, got bent a little, but it's oh, um, a no. balsa glider oh, instead of a foam one. Oh, yep, oh, a boat. There's, there's another wood shop, the sailboat. It's a boat. So we should have fun with those. Can I join in? Sure, behind me. And here's the third excavation one. So what bag should I open? Well, you can just um, hand me things. I think that's it for the boredom box that we found so far. So I'll keep adding things as we see things. Um, we found these really cute. We're going to be taking some road trips. So found these oh. roadside bingos, which are nice because they have the washable. Oh, he's the dry a magnifying erase. glass. Yep. Wait just a second, buddy. <laughs> he's a magnifying glass. Yes, a magnifying glass. My daughter can I wanted have to. That? Well, Gab asked for this one, okay? So mm -hmm. maybe we can get you another one or you guys can share. But she was gonna do something with a magnifying glass, so she asked for a magnifying glass. Oh, here we go. These were the cool things I wanted to show all at once. There should be an orange one. Is there an orange box in there too? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. I'm digging around some pencil leads. She always needs pencil leads for her mechanical pencils. Is there another one in there? Okay, don't open those. Okay, so we found these really cool um, six sets of pencils, and there's there's different kinds. So this one is metallic color pencils, which I thought would be good for the color books. My favorite graphite. animal is the owl. Yes, and we'll show and that in a lion. minute. And graphite pencils, so they can draw, and charcoal pencils too. Mom, well, I thought that was pretty good. There's also um, watercolor ones that are in here somewhere, and I'll find those in a minute. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a dolphin. I love dolphins. I also forgot to mention um, puppies. 
puppies. Yes, puppies. Okay. Oh, here they are. And here's the watercolor pencils. What? So you can dip those in water? Well, you put, what you do is you color them, and then it's like a paint by number. And then you um, wet them with a brush, and they turn into watercolors. And then, so that was the it for the boredom box that I want to make. But I did get these cute little stickers to decorate the boredom box with. I just need to find a, a, a box There's a bulldog behind that. Yep, and there you go. That's cute. Ba we're babysitting a bulldog. Mm, uh, uh, yes, we are. <laughs> and it's his first night here, and he's been very, very light, very vocal. <laughs> Oh, here's another car bingo. This one's vehicle bingo. Oh, look! A dolphin! Yep. Yeah. Oh, another boredom box thing. The Crayola easel paintings with dolphins. You love dolphins. Mm-hmm. And then just some household things. I got some more of this because it really does work. It's pretty good. And I like the citrus set better than lavender. Um, got some of this dial deodorant. And they had a new Dove Beauty cream. So I got that. And then I found, finally, we finally found the little feather trinket plates that people have been hauling. So I got one of those. Oh, yep. Yeah. And I got, they had the kiss nails. I really like the kiss nails. Um, they worked great. They say to keep them on for seven days, and they stayed on for seven days and, until I took them off. So that was really good. So I got a couple. They had this color, so I got that. And then I got these. I want two. one. These are puzzles too for the boredom box and also for Hubs while he's um, something to to do. You have to disconnect down. him. Right? right, right, right. So that they had all different kinds. There's another one. Get the flare off. And that one. Hey mom, is this uh -huh. for Sam? Yes, because. They had some really neat, different sand ones, so it kind of looks like the Colosseum. And this is. And this is just a castle. For, um, and wall. this is a, this is um, a French tower. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. So my daughter saw those, and we hadn't seen those before, so we thought we'd pick them up just in case. For me. Yep. And then, what happened to the third one? Where's the other one? But there's a third oh, one. Here it is. Hey, okay, um. They had these little battery fans on sale and again, and I couldn't decide what color, so I thought I would get them. Oh. They'll be, yep, yeah, all. Because I think really I might try to take one with me to the softball field and see if it actually works and put some, because we have a tournament tomorrow. So I may try to take one and see if it actually helps me. Or maybe I'll take all three and just surround myself with them. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and then um, he loves owls, but my daughter liked this. She found this cute little owl. So I don't know what she's planning on doing with it, but she got it and it's on a clip. So we got that. It's time for those. And then um, we found these cute little stationery sets. And they have paper clips and bulldog clips and paper and rubber bands and a little teeny mini tape. <laughs> so we got those. And then We um, are making these gel packs and they are ice packs and we needed to make more. So you put um, one part alcohol to one part water and you stick it in a Ziploc bag and then you freeze it. And it actually makes like a slushy kind of gel ice pack and it stays colder longer and it doesn't get hard and uncomfortable. So it, it moves about a little bit and they've been working really well. So I bought some more, I actually bought four bottles of this to make some more gel packs. So that I think is it for our haul today. Anything else to say, Jake? Hmm? Anything else to say? No? Bye. Okay, I guess that's it. So have a great three-day weekend, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Make sure you like and subscribe. And, and share. And notify and share. Yes, and share. Thanks. Have a and good thumbs weekend. up. Give this yeah. a big thumbs up. Yes, please give it a big thumbs up. There you go, 100 pound thumbs up. That would be awesome because then we could start doing giveaways. Yay! We want to do that, huh? Mm -hmm. That would be fun. Okay. <laughs> good night, everybody, or a good day, and Bye. have a great weekend. Bye.